Yo Ski, what's up everybody man, y'all know who I be, it's your man Pooh, C-Y-G-G. Now today, we're going to be talking about one of the biggest additions to NBA 2K20 this year, and that was the influx of many badges that were brought into the game. Now this year 2K had more badges than they had the past few years. This could make one thing. Did the developers come up with the ideas for these badges or did they possibly steal these badge ideas from another game? In this case, we're going to be talking about the top 10 badges that NBA 2K20 stole from NBA Live 19. At number 10, we have Shattered Confidence and Heart Crusher. Now, in NBA 2K20, you have something called the takeover or the takeover meter. Basically, when your player goes into the zone, he enters his takeover. Now, in NBA Live 19, it's called your player's mentality. Now, once your player gets on a scoring streak, your player enters a zone where he is unstoppable depending on his archetype. Now, with shouted confidence, basically this means that if you have a defensive player and you block that player's shot, you drop that player's chances of entering a like a scorer's mentality or a defender's mentality whereas in NBA 2K20 when you block a player's shot or steal their ball or something like that you stop their takeover meter from gaining now this in NBA Live 19 is called Shattered Confidence but in NBA 2K20 it's called the Heart Crusher number nine at number nine we have Bullet Pass and Needle Threader now in NBA Live 19, Bullet Pass basically gives your player a little bit more speed on the ball so he can get the ball past certain defenders without it being intercepted. Now, this badge sounds very familiar, right? In NBA 2K20, this badge is basically Needle Threader. Needle Threader basically gives your player the ability to make passes in tight spaces so it won't get intercepted also known as a counter for the interceptor badge but yes bullet pass and needle threader at number eight at number eight we have rebound catalyst and rebound chaser now in nba live 19 basically if you have a rebounder his mentality will keep going up and his basically his eye for rebounding and his aggressiveness towards rebounding goes up whenever you equip this badge, Rebound Catalyst, because he's known to, you know, get the rebounds. He That's what amps the team up, he, him getting his rebounds. Now, this badge in NBA 2K20, it's called Rebound Chaser. Basically, it allows you to track down the ball faster, just like in NBA Live 19, when it allows you to track down rebounds or chase down rebounds in this case whenever the ball is in the vicinity of a rebounder. Rebound catalyst, rebound chaser. Number seven. At number seven we have split decision and bailout. Basically in NBA Live 19, split decision is known for your character being able to pass out of his shot mid-air. Or anytime your player is basically double teamed or shooting a shot mid-air, He's able to make the split decision and pass out of his shot. Now, in NBA 2K20, this badge is called Bailout. So basically, whenever you attack the goal, you're in the air, or if you're being double teamed, you are able to bail yourself out of that situation or bail out of that bad shot by passing out of it. You are, you know, more accurately going to pass out of it than turning the ball over than, than someone who doesn't have this badge, basically. So you have split decision and you have bailout. Number six. At number six, we have heat check and hot start. Now in NBA Live 19, heat check is once your player makes one or two shots, basically he instantly goes into hot mode. He enters a hot streak and he's able to start making many more shots after he makes his first one or two shots, he's able to enter that zone faster. Now, this badge in NBA 2K20 is called Hot Start, which means after your first green or whatever, your first shot, you get a, you know, a big boost to the rest of your shots. In other words, you start off hot, you go into a hot start. 
in NBA Live 19 is called Heat Check, and NBA 2K20 is called Hot Start. Number five. At number five, we have Pull-Up Shooter and Steady Shooter. Now, in NBA Live 19, Pull-Up Shooter is basically a badge you have to make more contested shots when the person is in your face. Now, basically how this badge works is you have to shoot many contested shots with the person in your face in order to upgrade it. Now, of course, you don't have to go about the same upgrading process in NBA 2K20, but the badge and how it works is very similar to the badge known as Steady Shooter, which means it helps you make more contested shots. Or in other words, when the character is in front of you, you are able to make more contested shots whenever you equip this shooting badge. In NBA Live 19, it's called Pull Up Shooter. In NBA 2K20, it's called Steady Shooter. Number four. At number four, we have Relentless Defender and Tireless Defender. In NBA Live 19, whenever you equip the Relentless Defender badge, basically what happens is, is it gives your character a huge boost to stamina to be able to stick with the opponent on the opposite side of the ball. So whenever you give your defensive player this badge, he has a lot more stamina and is able to move a lot more with the offensive player that he's guarding. And in NBA 2K20, this badge is called Tireless Defender which means your player gets more stamina and is able to stick with the, his opponent that he's holding on the opposite side of the ball. Relentless defender, tireless defender. <laughs> Come on, man. Number three. At number three, we have sure handles and tight handles. Now, in NBA, two, I mean, NBA Live 19, it's called sure handles. Now the way they operate is different. Sure handles allow your character to, you know, keep hold of the ball a little bit longer and get a little bit of a stamina boost while doing so. Whereas in NBA 2K20, tight handles allows your character to hold the ball a little longer if being defended by somebody with clamps. He's able to break his defender down a little bit easier whenever this badge is equipped. Now, although they kind of operate a little bit differently and somewhat similar, it's still you still can't hide the fact that the badges are too similar when it comes to name, especially the year after the other game was released. And that is NBA Live 19 Sure Handles, NBA 2K20 Tight Handles. Number two. At number two, we have Late Release, and flexible release now in nba live 19 the badge is called late release now late release basically means that once this badge is equipped your player is less penalized whenever he shot times his you know whenever he you know times his shot a little late he's not going to be penalized as much he still has a high chance of making the shot whereas in nba 2k20 flexible release technically works the same way so if your player does not shoot within his green window and he's late with his release flexible release allows your player to still be able to make that shot because like we all know it's sometimes it works for slightly lakes but it mostly works for lates and when you're terribly you know out of your green window in nba live 19 is late release and nba 2k20 is flexible release and last but not least, at number one, at number one, we have Quick Trigger and Quick Draw. I'm pretty sure you guys know exactly <laughs> where I'm going with this. In NBA Live 19, whenever your player touches the ball with this badge, it's basically somehow in the catch and shoot situations, if I'm correct, he's able to shoot the ball way faster if this badge is equipped at bronze silver or gold the higher the badge the quicker your character can shoot with it equipped in certain catch shoot situations where is i mean whereas in nba 2k20 this badge basically determines your shot speed in all areas whether it's pull-up jumpers you know um 
you know, off the dribble shots, catch and shoot situation, regular pull up jumpers, it don't matter. But in NBA Live 19, it's called Quick Trigger, and in NBA 2K20, it's called Quick Draw. Now, there were many other badges that could have made the list that, you know, 2K kind of took from um, NBA Live 19. One would be on the road, I mean, on the road versus pick and roller. And, you know, both of them basically have the same badge creation. And then you had step back and step off in NBA Live 19 versus the space creator in NBA 2K20. And then you had the marathon runner, which gives your player a lot of stamina on offense versus handle for days on NBA 2K20, which gives your ball handler a lot of um, stamina whenever it comes to utilizing dribble moves. But if you guys enjoyed this video, and no, I'm not saying that NBA Live 19 was better than NBA 2K20 or nothing like that. It was just something I noticed and that really caught my interest that I wanted to make a video about, man. But until next time, it's your man Pooh, CYGG, and I'm out.